All right, folks, Battlefield 2042 looked absolutely fantastic in all of the revealed trailers and gameplay trailers and trailers upon trailers in the recent E3. And I think that, yes, this game will end traditional Call of Duty multiplayer, as in, you know, public matches that we all used to know and love back in Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 1. The good old days, people. It's it's over. It's never coming back. It's honestly not even really... Uh, it's kind of because I think Battlefield 2042 is going to be absolutely fantastic. I mean, the trailers looked amazing. The, the maps are massive. It's going to be so, so much fun, I think. And just truly epic to play with your friends. And just so many people can play on the map at one time. It's going to be awesome. But... Call of Duty as we know it, the whole Warzone thing, it, it's going to be fine. Warzone is Call of Duty from now on. I mean, that's that's the path they're taking. They don't even care now, really, about regular multiplayer. I mean, they, they like, barely care. It, there's rumors that they're not even going to be releasing a new game for a new mul uh, multiplayer. It might just be Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, which, whatever, if they do that. I mean, that's just a remaster of an old game. I mean, that's not, you know, people will play it, but at the end of the day, if it's not a new Call of Duty multiplayer thing, who cares? And also, Warzone's doing so good, they don't even, they don't care, and they really shouldn't care. You know, like, I want them to care because I love traditional account multiplayer, but it's been so bad for the past, like, four years that I'm just, at this point, just, like, let it die. I mean, it's over. The gaming has moved past it, I, I feel like. So, Warzone's absolutely incredible. I'll play that forever. Just keep updating that. I would like them to just update it more, honestly. Like, just focus all a lot of more of your attention there and do that. Because the whole, you know, 6v6 maps and, and all that, is, it's kind of going out of style. I, I would love for them to come back and blow me away with a new COD and it just be a fantastic experience. But I just, I doubt that heavily that, that that'll ever really happen again. So, the new way forward is Battlefield 2042, baby. It's like COD and Warzone mixed into one, because it's 64v64, that's basically as much people on a Warzone map, but there's teams, obviously, and it's not a battle royale, but it's still going to be a huge map, there's going to be even more vehicles, which is more fun, more craziness, in-time world events, earthquakes, tornadoes, all that crap, it's just going to be insane, guys, to play this, and it's going to be, I think, at least, like, the Conquest-type game modes of, of Battlefield 1 or whatever, where you, like, progress through the map, and there's an attacking and a defending team. I hope it's not just straight up team deathmatch. That would kind of be boring. I always thought that putting an objective in and having a mode. You know, you can have that mode for people that want to play that. But for me at least, I would love where it's attacking and defending. And you're trying to blow up an objective or capture a point or, or whatever you need to do. Push past a po point and kill enough people in that area. I don't know. Whatever they do it. I, I remember that Battlefield 1 had a guy game modes like that. Where you had to progress through the map. And it was really, really, really fun in my opinion. I, I liked it a lot. I had a ton of fun playing Battlefield 1. I'm hoping that this will be like that, but just futurist. Well, future. More modern. I mean, that was super old. This 2042, I mean, that's not that far into the future. Yeah, it should be a little more futuristic, but pretty much the same modern uh, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, or whatever feel that they had going on there. But with all new technology that they have nowadays and cross-play, hopefully should be a must on this game. And yeah, I think it's, it's just going to blow people away. There's a lot of hype for it, so it can be a little dangerous because when you start to hype something up too much, you can get your expectations too high and then let yourself down, which I've done before when you go to watch a movie and you're like, oh, this is going to be the best movie ever. And then it's still a really good movie, but you're like, oh, that wasn't the best movie ever. What the heck? You know what I mean? And, and I'm, I'm thinking that Battlefield 2042 is getting like this hype that it's going to be the best Battlefield game. It's going to like kill COD. It's going to end all those other types of games. This is going to be the new shooter format to play. It's going to Battlefield's back, you know, in all of its former glory. It's going to be amazing, and I hope that that happens, but there is that, you know, a little bit of doubt where you're like, okay, if that doesn't happen, we're going to have a problem here, because <laughs> then it's just going to be a dumpster fire, but I have faith. I, I have faith that it is going to be an incredible game. The ga I mean, the gameplay looks so much fun. It, it, like, just imagining playing basically Warzone in a non-BR mode where you're with more than just three other friends. I mean, you could go in with a squad of like 15 friends, you know, all your buddies or whatever you roll in and you're just in jets flying and shooting tanks on the ground and, and you're just sniping from buildings and running through the streets shooting people. I mean, it's going to be absolutely insane. I mean, Battlefield 1 felt really massive to me. Like 32v32 felt, I think that's what that was, felt huge. You know, Battlefront 2, like Star Wars, I think it's like 30v30. 30 30. 
And those games feel like there's a lot of people on the map. Like, you are constantly fighting people. It is not hard to find someone. I mean, even in a Warzone lobby where it's 150 people, but it's not 64v64, so it's like mini teams doing all their own things. It's pretty easy to find people. So I'm assuming in this game it's going to be pretty easy to find people. You're going to be able to do pretty much whatever you want to do uh, on, on the map there. And I hope that there's like, um, you know, like you can actually explode buildings and stuff. I don't know how it's going to work exactly, but... I would love for there to be, you know, real-time event. There already is real-time events, but, you know, like exploding buildings and that sort of thing and kind of blowing buildings up out from other people or underpasses or whatever. I mean, it's just going to be insane. The sky's the limit with that game. That's why I think it's going to just blow COD out of the water and kind of make COD... I mean, they're not going to rethink anything. They're going to keep on just shoveling out kind of the same old thing they've done for the past four years. But Warzone is their future, and it's a great future. I love Warzone. Bright future. I, Warzone's a ton of fun to me, but putting Battlefield 2042 in, I think, will just give people another game to play that it's going to be a super fun time that you can play with buddies and just, you know, go around the map having a blast, really. Really, I, I really do think that. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it, though, guys. Uh, Battlefield 2042 looks fantastic. I don't, I don't got that much more to say about how great it looks. Um, it, it looks incredible. I hope it's incredible. I've heard that it's going to be a pretty big download. I mean, the maps are massive. They are just insanely big maps with all kinds of stuff going on the map. So, yeah, it's going to take up a lot of space on whatever console or PC you're, you're, you're going to want to try to get it on. And that's kind of annoying because I, I, you know, it, it sucks that games take up so much freaking space nowadays. Because I like to play a lot of different games, but we'll see. We'll see what, whenever the, you know, when it comes out, how much it is, and, and I'll figure that out. But that's really the only negative I have. I, I don't love that. There's so much data for these games nowadays, but it needs to happen. You know, it's just technology is getting to that point where it's just that's that's how it is. But yeah. That's the only negative I could really think of, but I think Battlefield 2042 is going to be absolutely incredible. I think it's going to end traditional Call of Duty. I mean, like I said, they'll keep on making it, but no one's going to play that crap anymore after this. I mean, this is going to be the new thing that is going to carry kind of the FPS or genre for the next, like, two and a half years, let's say. Two and a half, three years. That and Warzone, so... It's just going to be like a second Warzone to me, in my opinion. Like, a Warzone for the people that don't want to play a BR, basically, is how I'm thinking of it. Because... It seems like Warzone, basically, but not BR, you know? And Battlefield, obviously, mechanics, so... Different. Different, definitely. But similar in other ways. But yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. Please be sure to like, I'm Scratch, and I'm below, do all the things. I love ya. And I'll see ya on the next one, folks. Peace out.